I wanted to film another little mini haul type video for you. I know my last video was a beauty haul and I was waiting on some more things to come in the mail and th these are more luggagey travel organizational type things not so much beauty products but it all came in today so I wanted to go ahead and film this for you to show you what I got and maybe give you some travel organizing tips or something like that hopefully you can I don't know find something that you like uh, the stuff that I bought is from Vera Bradley and I remember when I was in middle school high school Vera Bradley got really big and everyone had to carry Vera Bradley and then after a while, I just kind of got out of it. I've never been a huge fan of their handbags, but I love their luggage and travel type things. Their wallet, it's good quality in my opinion. It's lightweight. You can wash it in the washing machine. So to me, I don't know. I like it. I don't remember if I told you this in my last video or not, but my husband is in the military and we are stationed overseas. And we are going back to the States next month. So I decided to go ahead and splurge on a few traveling things to use on our trip and I'm so excited I did because I love all of it. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it and show you uh, all of the stuff that I got. We have a store out here by the way that does carry Vera Bradley but they only carry the, the really new patterns and my favorite one is one of the older ones. It is the Baroque pattern. Some of the things that I have are in like I have one or two pieces in a different pattern, but the majority of what I'm going to show you is the Baroque pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is the straighten up and curl and this is in the Baroque pattern. Um, I have an older version of this in a different pattern and I like it. It's smaller, but I really like this pocket right here because you can fold up your cord and stick your cord down in there and this is a little bit bigger. And my curling iron and straightener might fit in here. I don't know. I'll have to see. The next thing I got is the accordion wallet. I have the turn lock wallet in a different pattern. And I like it, but I don't know. It's heavy to me. And after a while, the turn lock wallet has the little thing that you spin on the front. And mine, I don't know. Mine just unlocks itself now. I guess because I've turned it so many times. And so... I felt like it was time for a new wallet. So I got this again, it's in the Baroque pattern. This is the accordion wallet and full price is $49. And it's just got a ton of room in it. There's no zipper pockets and I like that about this one because the turn lock wallet that I have, I have to open up the bigger compartment to get my cash or ID or whatever out. And then I have to close it and then the zipper pockets on the back and I just like this one because everything is in one place. You have spots for your cards or a checkbook here. Also in that same part is a little slit for your ID. And then this little section right here opens up. You can put coins in there. And you have the one, two, and then three compartments. And this side also has room for your cards. So the next thing is, this is the I have no idea how to pronounce this. It's Provencal or Provencal something. I have no idea. But this is in the Tech case. And this is just a little case. And I wanted this. Oh, it comes with a strap too that you can hook on the side right here and carry it if you want. Um, and I plan on using this. That's what the inside looks like. It's just a big open compartment and it has this slot right here. I plan on using this for my iPod. And I have the Beats headphones, the ones that like hook over your ears. And so I figured that that would be good to, I could, cause those would fit in this little compartment right here. And then I could just put my iPod there. So that's what I got that for. The next thing I got is a small cosmetics case. And this is in a different pattern as well. This is in Sun Valley. This is a new pattern. I love the colors on this. It's like a coral orange color with some green and white and blue. And I actually got this one just to stick in my purse to put my lip gloss chapstick. You know, when it's that time of the month if you need feminine products. And I actually bought this here. I did not get this online. So... I don't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was like $17 on base maybe. The next thing I got, okay you guys, I seriously have an obsession with blankets. I do not know why or what it is. I think it's just because they're comforting to me. I love anything that's really soft or anything that smells good like perfumes, lotions, anything like that. 
So I saw this blanket and I already have a throw blanket, but it's kind of small to me. And this one is a really good size and I don't know. It was, I think it's originally $49. Let me see. $49. And the day that I ordered all this, they were having a sale on their throw blankets and it was $35. So obviously, come on, I had to get it. So I did get this blanket and it's in the Baroque pattern as well. But this blanket is so soft. Oh, I just love it. It just makes me happy. Like I needed another blanket. My husband's going to kill me. But I did go ahead and order this. I figured I could throw it in my carry-on, use it on the plane, use it when I go home, all of that good stuff. So that is that. The next thing I got is a, um, they call it a good book cover for you to put, you know, books, planners, whatever in. I use this for my Bible. And this is what it looks like. It's just a... It looks like if you've seen a Bible case, it just looks like a normal Bible case. It, this side has, it does have a pocket on it. And then it opens up, whoop, head upside down. Opens up like this. And it has the little slips right here to where you can put the front cover of your book and the back cover of your book in there and it will keep it in place. And then it has these three little ribbons to for you to keep your page on. And that's the inside and the outside again. The next thing is a large cosmetics bag and I did not order this online. I've actually had this for a little while but I decided I'd throw it in here anyway since we're talking about traveling and I use this um, when we do go home for traveling. I do not like to put makeup in my checked luggage. I like to take my makeup in my carry-on bag because I do not want to chance it getting broken or shattered or anything like that. I put it in one of these. This is the large cosmetics bag and this is in the color Island Blooms. And the other thing that I really like about this bag is that it's got a liner inside. All of my palettes will fit in this large cosmetics case. Along with all my brushes, my powders, my everything else that I use for my makeup, I can just throw it all in here, throw this on my, in my carry-on bag, and it works. So I really like this as well. I went ahead and decided to get the older style hanging organizer, but this is what it looks like. And it ties up here at the top, so I'm going to go ahead and untie it. And when you untie it, it unfolds once. And then up here, this little, ooh, this little hook pops out like this. So you can hang this up in your bathroom. But it unfolds, it unfolds once like this that and then it unfolds again and that's what I really like about this. I use the big sexy hair which are big bottles to me. It's a, they're tall for a, it's tall for a hairspray bottle and those actually will both fit in this bottom compartment right here. Um, it's a little bit thicker on the bottom and this actually unzips and this bottom compartment also has a, a liner, a plastic liner in it. So that's what I put my hair products in right there. And I'll put my toothbrush and toothpaste and razor and all that or my Clarisonic or face wash or something like that in these. Here's another zippered compartment, another zippered compartment, and then this one, this whole part up here is another zippered compartment. So I just really, really liked this. I like it better than the one that I have right now. All of my toiletry items will fit in this one bag, whereas in my other one that only opens once and has two sides, not all of my stuff will fit in that one. So I really liked that and again that's just the hanging organizer and it's the older one and then next I got the coin purse but I do not plan on using this for coins I got this because I figured that this would be perfect to throw in bobby pins ponytail holders uh, headbands for when I wash my face anything like that I figured that I could just throw in here and it's just a, a zippered little pouch and put this in the hanging organizer and there I have everything that I need for my hair in one little compartment here 
Okay, last but not least is the bag that I bought and I bought the Weekender. Now they have an older style Weekender and a newer style Weekender. I personally went with the older one just because I liked it a little bit better and to me the difference in the new one and the old one wasn't worth the price to me personally. I think the new ones are around $98 and this one I want to say was $70 or $75. But this is also in the Baroque pattern. And ugh, I'm going to back up so you can see it. This is the bag. And it's got the two handles right here. And this one has two pockets. There's one here and then there's another one here. And the difference in this one and the, the newer one, sorry, is the newer one does not have these two pockets. It has one big zipper pocket in the front which is great but to me I like I don't mind the two open pockets and the reason is is because the old one actually in the very back has a zipper compartment that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag so for me personally I didn't mind the older one just because you still get that zipper pocket so you're really not losing anything and then the inside this one has four Oh, this also has a shoulder strap, by the way. I just haven't even unwrapped it to hook it, but it does hook on the side right here so you can carry it. The inside, it's got a lot of room in it. This one has one compartment here, or pocket, one pocket here, and then it has two other ones on the other side. So one here and one here. But that is everything I got. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye. Uh, it came in the mail today, and I just let it slide right above. Um, uh, um, 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 it's